All right, so I have this series and I'm going to go ahead and write out a few terms of this series. When n is 1, what is the first term? Negative 1 to the 1 would be negative 1. When n is 2, it is positive 1. When n is 3, it is negative 1. When n is 4, it's positive 1. When n is 5, it's negative 1. When n is 6, it's positive 1. So this keeps going forever like this. And as Mr. Shashika said, everything cancels out. Sort of like that telescoping one that I did. But, but does this one converge? No, it does not. If you look at some, the sequence of partial sums, so S sub 1 <coughs> is just negative 1. S sub 2 is negative 1 plus 1, which is 0. S sub 3 is the, first, the sum of the first three terms, negative 1 plus 1 plus negative 1, and that's going to be negative 1. And S sub 4 is negative 1 plus 1 plus negative 1 plus 1, and that is 0. And the sequence of partial sums for this problem would be, um, the first one's negative 1, I'll, I'll squeeze this in at the bottom of the page. Sequence of partial sums is negative 1, 0, negative 1, 0, negative 1, 0, comma, dot, 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 continues like that forever. And does the sequence of partial sums converge or diverge? It diverges. It would converge if it approaches one particular number. So this diverges. Is that the same thing as the, the oscillating? Um, no, that's something different. That's actually the topic for 11.5. Alternating. This is, actually, this is an alternating series. It's every which is the topic for section 11.5. Because the first term's negative, the second one's positive, the next one's <laughs> negative. They're, it's alternating back and forth between positive and negative. And this alternating series does diverge. Yes? Well, this is not a telescoping series. And is it because it diverges? Probably, that's probably not the reason. It just, it doesn't fit the description of the telescoping. 